Howdy there folks and welcome to SHOT Show 2024. My name's Steven Bresnan, I'm at the Palmetto State Armory booth and this is super exciting to me. I, somehow I spaced this out, but they are introducing bolt action rifles now. Um, and so what do we have here today? Yep, so uh, we have two of our bolt actions here. I'm gonna talk about this one first. Um, this is our Sabre SBG. So this is gonna be branded under our Sabre line. It's gonna be our premium precision-based uh, bolt action rifle. Um, biggest selling points of this, obviously, it's going to have an all wire cut internal, so the entire bolt track is going to be cut with a wire EDM. We have integrated pick rail and lug, uh, recoil lug, so everything's on the receiver right there. All right, and with this uh, recoil lug being part of the receiver, what is the style of that recoil lug? So it'll be just like a standard Remington 700 style recoil lug, it'll just be machined into the receiver. And I really like that because uh, when looking at a receiver on a bolt action rifle, I don't like the Remington system where it's sandwiched between the barrel and the receiver. I think it's a better foundation for a, ri a rifle for repeatable accuracy to be machined one piece with the receiver. So that excites me. Absolutely. You know, you have less mating surfaces together, less opportunity to get any kind of uh, wobble between your barrel and your receiver. All right. And now run me through the rest of this. So this particular one is going to be out of one of our cutting edge chassis. Um, I believe we got an 18 inch 308 with a dead air can on it. Um, but our goal is to offer this gun in you know, every configuration possible. Um, we're going to offer it you know, just actions, just barreled actions, all the way up to full firearms. So really want to make it as easy for you to customize your own bolt action as possible. Yeah, so lots of options here. I saw wooden stocks and polymer, uh, like kind of like almost like HMR style stocks out there. And then obviously aluminum chassis. Um, with this, what uh, is it a two stage trigger, a single stage trigger, a proprietary trigger? What are we looking at here? So all the guns right now are gonna be uh, sold with um, Trigger Tech branded triggers. Um, we've partnered with them with this gun. Uh, we've been really impressed with the product they've uh, put out. Uh, right now we have a two stage trigger in these guns. Okay, yeah, I mean, Trigger Tech, I have a lot of their triggers and really easy to use or adjust as well. And I see this as like a knurled uh, tactical bolt knob on it. Um, do they come with, are they going to come with different bolt knob options or what, what are we looking at there? Yep, so uh, this is just the knob that we initially brought to SHOT Show. Uh, the knob is removable from the bolt. So uh, we will have you know, multiple different knobs and it's kind of going to go into the customization right. of, of each firearm. All right, and I, with the trigger tech, I'm assuming it's going to have a two position safety. Um, and then, uh, like, can we take the bolt out of this real quick and take a look at it? Absolutely. So it's got two locking lugs, and I believe this is an M16 style extractor, if I'm correct. And then we got um, spiral fluting on this, which it just gives it an awesome look. It's a beautiful looking uh, bolt here. And then on this one, we have the mag release is in front here and it kind of flares out so it should be pretty easy to operate. Uh, it's just a sweet looking rifle. Is the barrel on this cut rifle, button rifle, hard or uh, cold hammer forged, what do you know? So the barrels that we're using right now are all going to be button broached. Okay. Um, we will branch out in the future and possibly look at, you know, just like offering different kind of stocks, we'll offer different manufacturers of barrels to give our customers you know, as much customization as possible. And a barrel nut so you can easily swap out the barrels. Um, really really cool system going on here and are these gonna be all threaded some are gonna be threaded or is it optional so uh, with the sabers right now we're looking at all of them being threaded um, you know who knows what the future is gonna hold we could offer them with non threaded barrels if that's what our customers want and I assume it's probably one half or not one half uh, five eighths by 24 thread on these right now yes sir all right very very cool thank you very much for showing us that rifle now we're gonna take a look at this rifle a more budget-friendly uh, bolt action offering from PSA. What do we have here today? Yep, so this is our PSA Emerge. Uh, so like you said, this is gonna be our more budget-friendly rifle. Um, instead of having EDM'd internals, we're looking at doing uh, button broaching. Um, it will have the uh, traditional you know, recoil lug that is sandwiched off of the barrel nut. So, um, you know, less components machined into your receiver. But um, it still is gonna keep with what we're trying to do with the Sabre. So um, we're gonna offer it you know, from you know, being able to buy single parts all the way up to you know, fully assembled rifles. We're gonna have it in a multitude of stocks. I really want to be able to give the customer the option to make their bolt gun however they wanna make it. 
And so you say a multitude of stocks. I saw a bunch out there. Is it going to be available in chassis op options as well? I know this is kind of a, uh, like a hybrid. I call this kind of a hybrid uh, option. It's kind of like a stock slash chassis, the way it's designed. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Absolutely. So we are uh, working with a couple of our manufacturers, both internal and external, on developing some very budget-friendly chassis uh, to be able to get our customers what they need as much into you know a, a very affordable gun as we can possibly get. And of course, it, it looks like they come all free-floated and threaded 5 8 by 24 at the end there. Is this a, a hard anodized finish? Do you know what kind of finishes they're coming in? So right now, um, on this, we're looking at doing either a DLC coating or, yeah, uh, not a hard anodized, but uh, nitride finish on the receivers. And is this going to take, like, Remington 700 bases or... Yeah, just like everything on the Sabre, uh, we've tried to make this as compatible with the Remington 700 parts as possible. So bases, stock, triggers. And different uh, bolt options here, uh, swappable. And then a two position safety, is this going to come with the trigger tech trigger like the uh, Sabre line or different? So it will come with a uh, little bit lower grade of a trigger tech trigger, but it still will be a trigger tech made trigger. Can we pull the bolt out on this one? Unlike the uh, Sabre, this line has a non-spiral fluted bolt, um, and then it still has two locking lugs and still has the M16 style extractor, so similar in that regard. Um, uh, so pretty cool looking bolt. Are you guys making these receivers? Yes, yeah, so we'll be making the receivers in-house. They will be a PSA product. And what will these rifles be available in? So initially we're gonna uh, offer these rifles in short action calibers. The first two are gonna be 6.5 and 308. All right, so when will this rifle and the Sabre line be available? Uh, so the Sabre line, uh, we are actively working on now, and we're going to try to get it into production by the end of the year. Um, the PSA Emerge is uh, what we consider a concept gun, right? So this year we've brought a lot of concept guns, a lot of things that we have in the works. Um, you know, PSA, we can do anything, but we can't do everything. So what we're trying to do with our concept guns is bring them, show our customers, and let them decide what they want to see. Very, very, very cool. And I think I forgot to ask you, is this a 75-degree throw or a 90-degree throw? Same 75-degree throw as the other one. Very cool. Thank you, Matt. Thanks for watching Bolts for Bucks. Check out this next video and subscribe.